Andy, first of all, it's great to see you back in Glasgow now. Just, just what are you doing back here? Um, yeah, I just came back to prepare myself because I just started the coaching license in Germany. And uh, so I'm going to start uh, in summer to work uh, with the youth team. And so uh, I try uh, yeah, to prepare myself uh, and speak to the, to the club here, to the, the people who are in charge. Uh, with the youth academy here and uh, yeah, it was a good experience so far. Was it quite strange to go back to Celtic and, and find yourself standing in the touchline having, having been a player for so long there as well? It's, uh, I think it's a good feeling you know, to come, to the, come back to the places uh, you, you were or before. You had good memories, I had good, great memories uh, here at Celtic Park but not just in Celtic Park, in the city you know uh, and you lived here many, uh, three and a half years, good memories, and it was the first time I'm back since I left uh, Glasgow, so it was, it was good. Quite a lot of people were quite surprised to hear that you'd retired. You obviously went back to Germany and were playing in the Bundesliga for Freiburg again, but you know what, what made you retire at, at the age you did? It was like, um, okay, I had a long-term injury here, I picked it up uh, here and uh, I didn't play for w w more than one year and then uh, I signed for Freiburg in Germany and uh, uh, it was hard to come back you know to and maybe I didn't reach the same level I, I, I played before so that was one reason I didn't play that much at the end of the last season um, then uh, now I have two children I didn't want to move uh, for the last few years of my career, every single year, because uh, in Germany it's quite difficult uh, in my age to get a, a long-term contract. So, mental thing as well. I played for great teams, great clubs, you know, like uh, Stuttgart, uh, Sevilla, uh, uh, Celtic, and it was difficult mentally wise just to continue football just in third or, or second division. So, yeah, there was more than uh, just one, one uh, reason. Now you've been working with, with John Kennedy at Celtic this week as well. You know, how have you enjoyed that experience and, and just how are you enjoying your, your first few months as, as life as a coach? Yeah, actually, I'm going to start in summer, like uh, as a real, yeah, that I'm really in charge of a team. And, uh, I enjoyed it so far to come back here and uh, uh, John Kennedy helped me a lot, he was uh, really helpful and all, all the people I spoke to uh, uh, helped me a lot and it was nice, it was interesting to, to uh, see how they work uh, with the youth here and how they uh, work be behind the doors, you know. As a player you just see what they do on the pitch or when you speak to them. but. Uh, how they work with the youth and how they think and how they prepare themselves or prepare the team for the games. It's, it was very interesting. Yeah. Obviously, you've got a lot of experience working in, in Spain, in Germany. You've come here to Scotland as well. You know, There's a lot of negatives that surround the Scottish game, but do you believe the standard of coaching here is good? Is this a good place to learn and, and develop your career as a coach? Um, yeah, I heard that it's one of the best... Uh, uh, systems, you know, to became a, a manager, a coach. I heard uh, Jose Mourinho made his uh, license here, his pro license, and uh, yeah, it's a good thing to learn here. And uh, uh, I think that the the German system is good as well. And uh, I just started it in Germany, and I think I, I want to continue in Germany. Yeah. But uh, in Scotland, it's, it's it's good as well. And we'll hopefully see you back here very soon and maybe back here in a couple of years managing a team somewhere. <laughs> you never know. Yeah? In football, everything can happen. Uh, yeah, and uh, maybe, you know. Uh